Key legislators say they would move to borrow more money rather than creating any new taxes or fees for open space preservation. The lawmakers made the comments at a hearing today on ways to replenish the Garden State Preservation Trust, which is now bankrupt. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. The view is clear for miles from atop Bald Pate Mountain. The area, which was purchased in 1998 as open space, can be found along the Delaware River. Finding a source of money for future open space purchases was at the center of a joint Senate and Assembly Environment Committee hearing today. The Garden State Preservation Trust allocated the last of $200 million in Green Acres bond money last month and is now broke. The executive director of the Highlands Commission says more money is needed to acquire environmentally sensitive land in an area that provides drinking water for half the state. Landowners who want to preserve their land are facing pressure from a weak real estate market. They want to see what their potential is uh, to recapture value moving forward. And from our perspective, we want to be able to protect lands so that the water is protected for the rest of the state. State environmental officials say money for parks actually provides an economic stimulus. Our parks are designed by architects, landscape architects and engineers, and they're built by construction contractors. There are several bills that would provide funding sources. One would create a water tax that would cost homeowners about $30 a year. Most of the preservationists who testified today called for putting a funding question before voters in November. The Sierra Club called for establishing a permanent source such as the water tax. We bonded two years ago. That was a mistake. We should have pushed for the long-term solution at that point. But it's unlikely lawmakers will ask the public to dig deeper. The sense of increasing yet another tax or fee, uh, again, upon the economic engine that drives the revenues that come in the state and at the end of the day could be counterproductive, I think is a road that currently we can't go down. By the end of today's hearing, the chairman of the Assembly Environment Committee, who sponsored the water tax legislation, set a ballot question asking voters to approve the sale of $500 million in state bonds for Green Acres funding would be the most likely option. I'm hopeful that we can all collectively cobble together some level of, and we've proved it in the past, to be successful and in the hands of the voter, a bond referendum so as we can continue the progress of Garden State Preservation Trust and then perhaps a year, two years from now, look to the permanent source. Last year, Governor Corzine called for reauthorizing the Garden State Preservation Trust, but still hasn't said which funding source he'd prefer. Ed Rogers, NJN News. Hopewell Township.